Hi, this is Mama Snatcher Kitchen. Today I'm going to bake a bread, and this bread has a story that you know from my childhood. Um, there was a lady that lived in Kumasi. There was a place called Africa Bangalore. Yeah. She was a very, very good baker. We used to bake this bread, and when we were kids, we used to go there and get some. You know, and it was very, 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 very delicious. It was a brown bread made with coffee and stuff. So I'm going to show you how the whole thing is going to be. So this is my sugar. I'm using um, half a cup of brown sugar. And that's my spice there. Mint spice nutmeg. One tablespoon each. And this is my instant coffee. Yeah. Using coffee. One such as. And then three tablespoons of oil. And my using a uh, black treacle. This one. So give me extra that color. If you don't want, you don't have to. It's optional. Then add my one uh, tablespoon of salt and I add my fruit today, some tannis. So this is the ingredients and then warm milk. Have my 300 ml liter of warm milk. You can use either margarine, three tablespoons, three tablespoons of marg or three tablespoons of oil. So that is it's, it's up to you what you want, the one that you like. So and this is my uh, such as of yeast dry one i'm using one and a half such as of uh, yeast so that my bread can bounce up and nice you know because of the coffee and stuff in there i need to you know add more yeast so that they can rise properly for me so this is what i'm going to prepare today so that's flour oil spice sugar black treacle and is there in salt so this is my ingredients i'm going to prepare bread and i'll show you how the whole thing is going to be yeah now i finished um, mixing the bread dough now so i'm going to leave it for until it rises. then i'll mold it and then leave it there to rise again rise it twice before i bake it so i'm leaving it here for it to rise then i come back and then roll it again and then leave it yeah, and one more thing I want to tell you, you know the flour that I use, I use um, homemade flour, I use about 300 homemade flour, and I use self-raising flour, 200 grams, 300 grams of homemade flour, 200 grams of self-raising flour, so that's a, that's the kind of flour that I'm using for my bread, so just remember to tell you, yeah, thanks. Yeah, now as you can see, the bread has you now rice, so I'm going to mold it and then leave it to rise for a second time before I'll bake the whole thing. Now I'm using a lovely brown bread. See, it depends how you want your sweet. If you want more sweet, I add a bit more sugar you know, or honey. Can I use either honey, brown sugar, or your normal custard sugar. But I like I use brown sugar for mine and a little drizzle of honey as well. So it's my thing here. It reads with the butter much. The reason why we grease it is when you it's done, it's easy for you to take it out. So just drop it in like that. And then cover with napkin and wait for the bread to rise again. You need to cover it with my napkin here. Yeah. You leave it in a warm place. Warm place so that it will rise quicker for you. So this one. Nice, look at that. I have to use a small one, small, big head, uh, black breeze. I'm just using this one. And that one. About that, half a uh, quarter of a Yeah, about that. This is a half a cup, and anyway, quarter of that as well. So, just under here. I just add some tannins, so tannins for the whole, and I'm adding this one to this one as well because I like the look of that. Give it nice 
beautiful look. Time to finish. So I'm going to put it in my tin here. And, set and cover it. And let it rise again. Then I'll make it. So try and keep it in a nice warm place. So I rise faster for you. Yeah? So I'm going to cover this with my nap another napkin here. Until the whole thing comes. Then I'll bake it. See? Okay, and uh, leave it until you rise in double the size, then you bake it straight away. And then you have your bread, lovely bread. So I'm going to show you later when everything is done. Yeah? Thank you. So now, as you can see, my bread now is a, a, a rice. So I'm going to bake it now. And then when they finish baking, I'll show you how the whole thing is like, yeah? Thank you. Okay, now I've finished baking my bread. You see the coffee bread is now ready. So I'm going to decorate it with my garnish one. No, it's brush my jam, apricot jam. I love my apricot jam. I just take it little and then add water to it so that I can use it to brush my bread. I'm going to remove it from the tin. Let's see how it smells wonderful. I wish you can smell it so so beautiful here. Let me take this one as well. Just Because my tin is very old, so I always put baking paper here yeah. so that it will not come to my bread. Okay, now, this is I have two different types of so we can bake something like this. It's my coffee bread. So now, let me just brush it with a little apricot jam for you to see how shiny and beautiful to take pictures of it. It's something that you can do anytime, you know. That's what I was saying. I saw this bread when I was very, very little. I always talk about my grandfather because he, he was the one that used to go to that woman and buy the lady that I said from a fancy bar. She used to live in Kumasi, a place called Africa Bangalore. But it's in a room. Those who live in Kumasi, they know what I'm talking about. I was a very little, very, very, very just say child. And then I still remember the taste and how it looks like. So that's why I said, why not make my own one? So mama is now a big girl. I'm a big girl now. Making my own brown coffee bread. See? This brush with my apricot jam. And I can see my rich brown looking bread here. Oh yes, this is beautiful, awesome, rich looking bread. So, I'm doing this for you today so that you can make something like this for yourself, your family. Very, very nice. Today I'm using jam, because most of the time I use match, but today jam, I use apricot jam here. Not too much, just lightly uh, spread here. And then for you to see how the whole thing is like, yeah. If I use margarine or jam, you have apple jam, apple jam, normal strawberry or raspberry, you know, try use something like that. Try it. You know how the whole thing tastes like. Beautiful, lovely, delightful bread. Coffee bread from my infancy in Kumasi, you know. Now my big girl making my own. So try and make some for Mama's Natural Kitchen. Mama, let you say. Yay. Thank you. Thanks.
Yeah, I want to tell you something. This bread it takes a very long time to rise. You know, the first time, let's say 40 to 45 minutes, 50 minutes before it will rise for you for the first one. And then second, we will take another hour for it to rise. So when you make this, try and make time. You know, I know sometimes African food takes some time, but it's worth it. So if you have time, and then you just bake this bread. If you bake it for 20 to 30 minutes, you know, gas max six, or when you preheat your oven face, when your oven is hot, turn it to gas mark five, and then leave it for let's say 20 to 30 minutes. Keep on checking until you see it's nice and this color, so that you know your bread is now ready.